Thank you, Jay. I am Natalie, President of the Student Council. I'm Sarah, Vice President of the Student Council. And I am Z, a Secondary 2 Junior Student Counselor. In this second segment of our virtual tour, we are going to share with you our distinctive programs that set us apart from others. That's right. Our school's LLP program, a Learning for Life program, is one of them. And I'm proud to share that it is because of this program that I get the opportunity to be on this virtual tour with you. You're absolutely right, Z. Haising believes that every Haisian is a leader. That is why we're given opportunities to represent schools in leadership seminar, participate in workshops, and now sharing our leadership experiences live on the internet. Our LLP comprises the Personal Advancement and Development in Leadership Program, PED, or PEDO in short, and the Student Ambassadors in Leadership Program, SAIL. PEDO is a cohort-based program targeting all Sec 1s and 3s, while SAIL is for those holding student leadership appointments, such as student counsellors, Catholic Fellowship leaders, CCA leaders, and class leaders. Oh, now I get it. I experienced PEDO last year as a Sec 1 student before I was appointed as a student counsellor. And now that you're a student counsellor, you get to experience SAIL in addition to PEDO next year in Secondary 3. Although SAIL camp was held virtually this year due to the COVID-19, it was definitely fun and enriching for both Natalie and I as there were many hands-on activities to teach us how to resolve conflicts and work better as a team. That's right. I can remember a hands-on activity that we had where two teams took on the roles of different parties and we had to apply what we learned during the course to solve the issue given to us. I remember the hearty debate between the teams and the eventual compromise we had settled on. I believe sale, although held online, equally as enjoyable and fruitful. Can you imagine how much more our secondary one junior will experience next? It will experience when physical can resume? Oh, uh, hearing from the both of you, I can't wait to go to cell camp now. You know, come to think of it. Actually, my experience last year for PADA was just as fruitful. I remember learning about my strengths and weaknesses through games and self-assessment. For example, I remember playing a game where we split into groups of five and went out of the classroom to look for and found number of cards hidden all over the school. It took some team effort to get all the cards when, before we back to the class and solve the problems behind those number cards. When we did a reflection at the end of the game, we realized that teamwork is only effective when we know how to use our strengths to complement each other's weaknesses. It was an eye-opener for me. Wow, that was a powerful lesson to eat. Yes, indeed. So and Pedal have taught us a lot about ourselves and others, which we can apply when planning for major events such as Teacher's Day and Secondary 1 orientation, how to resolve conflict and work better as a team. That's right, Sarah. We can also understand others better and reach a solution quicker so as to achieve a smooth planning journey. I believe it is the skills that Pedal and Sale has equipped us with that has made our planning for the Secondary 1 orientation smooth sailing so far. These skills are also transferable to our VA projects in class. Isis LLP sounds so amazing. Indeed, Z. But don't forget, we've only shared one of our distinctive programs. Let us now hand over the time to Jaden to share more about the second distinctive program. Over to you now, Jaden.